Okay, so here is the next page in line. It's on a uh, completely blank prepared page, okay? There's nothing on the other side. And most of the paper for this piece comes from Graphic 45's uh, Let It Be collection. And with the exception of this piece here, which is from the Graphic 45 Raining Cats and Dogs collection. So um, I am using a sunflower theme here because my client uh, loves sunflowers. They're like her, <laughs> it's one of her happy places, I guess, to be among sunflowers, which is, which is wonderful. So I am doing that into the book as well per her request. So that is why I chose this paper. So let me walk you through um, how to do this layout. Okay, so the very first thing is I chose a base piece of cardstock that matches this piece. And I'm not leaving a border because I want this to be, I want this to look like the base page. So it's exactly eight and a half by 11. And that can just get adhered straight down. Okay, so then from that Graphic 45 Let It Be collection, I have cut um, this piece to eight inches by 10 and 3 eighths. Okay, so eight inches by 10 and 3 eighths. And it leaves about a quarter of an inch border all the way around. And again, that can just get straight adhered down. I'm suddenly wondering if maybe I have this. No, okay, I don't. <laughs> I was wondering if I had this piece upside down, but it doesn't matter. Okay. And then I have a piece of white cardstock that is going to go on the top half of this flower piece, of this floral piece, with about eh, just under a quarter of an inch border on the left, right, and top. And that again, that can just get adhered down. I did um, see this layout on Pinterest, by the way. Um, so I really don't get credit for the idea. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to make it my own, of course. Uh, but yeah, just kind of like where I place things. I did get, I was inspired by somebody's Pinterest or yeah, somebody else's <laughs> layout that I found on Pinterest. Okay, so for these three, I want this one to go straight across. And I want this one to be at an angle. And I want this one to be at an angle. Something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them exactly where I want them. And then I'm just going to cut a straight line. I'm just going to cut the three of them in a straight line down. Cause I, well, I'm not sure if I want it to extend. I think I want it to extend all the way to the red. That would be cute. And if I change my mind, I can always cut more off. So the best way that I can figure to do this is to hold everything in place.
Yeah, uh, let's see here. <laughs> there we go. So I'm putting glue on the one that is on the bottom. Well, I'm putting glue under the green one. And then I'll lift this one up, make sure it's straight, which it is not. Well, that one can go last, that one will be easy. Okay, so really all I did was I adhered the green one to the black and white one, okay? So that they don't move. And actually it got adhered to the page too, which is perfect, okay. No, it's not perfect because I need to cut these. Okay. All right, so these two are adhered together and they're gonna go eh, somewhere like that. And this one is going to go straight across. And once I have it straight, I will adhere it to the green. just to the green, not to the page itself. And then I can cut 11 inches. I will start right about there. And this will be the edge that I put um, in my cutter because this is complete, this yellow one is completely straight across. So I'll put that in the bottom of my cutter and I'll make sure my straight edge is from that one. Okay, so there we go. So I've got eight and a half from left to right. That's gonna go right about there. Okay, perfect probably made that a lot harder than it needed to be. <laughs> All right. And that's going to go there. He's going to go somewhere there. I'm not going to adhere those down just yet. Actually, this one, this one can get adhered. That's not a problem. Okay, I am gonna just place this guy here for a moment. All right, so for the two photo mat booklets, you need a piece that measures seven inches by five and one eighths. No, seven and... Hmm, what do I have that cut to? Looks like seven and a quarter. Yes, seven and a quarter because three and five eighths plus three and five eighths is seven and a quarter. So cut this seven and a quarter to five and one eighth of an inch. And then you're just gonna score it down the center, which is three and five eighths. So this will accommodate three uh, pictures that are three and a half by five. So then you need two of these, any design that you want, that also measure um, basically this size. So three and five eighths 
by five and one eighths of an inch, okay? And then this will hold three wallets. So this needs to be cut to four and a quarter by three and one eighths. So then you'll score that down the center at two and one eighths, okay? So that by the time you're done, you can fit three wallet size photos that measure two by three. And then I cut two uh, pieces of decorative paper that are the same measurement of this, which is three and one eighths by two and one eighth. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of line this up here. I want it to be sideways a little bit, like not perfectly symmetrical. And then that one will come like that. And maybe that one will be like that. Okay, and same thing for this one. Okay, so you're just trying to figure out, you know, how you like it, what looks good to you. And then you can go ahead and adhere down the two pieces of decorative paper underneath. So I like that. I'm gonna start over here. Okay, and all right, so, so I think I will just, just place this down so the actual photos themselves are perfectly straight. So then the two um, decorative papers in the back are kind of askew. And same thing with this one. I'll kind of place this guy so that, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll make it so that the photo mat is pretty much straight. And these pandas could not have been a better fit for this page. You can see that the color um, theme is the perfect match with the 
with the like the orange red here and the black and the green it's just it's so perfect i love it okay so um we're gonna use magnets for these and once we mat them and then of course put photos in them the magnets won't be so strong that it's hard to open them but they'll be strong enough to, to keep everything shut um so first we want magnets And um, I'm, I'm intentionally not doing a lot of dimension on this page because the one before it <laughs> has enough dimension for the both of them. Um, but I want some sunflowers somewhere. All right, so I just found these sunflower assets from uh, creativefabrica.com pulled them into Cricut silhouette I'm sorry pulled them into silhouette studio uh, did the offset feature and now I will add them to the page So then really all you have to do is decide whether you would like to mat the fronts of these or keep them plain. And you could also decide if you wanted to put like a pull tab on them. You could do something like this. So I just cut this from black cardstock. And then I took that piece and just cut it straight down. And then I took those two halves and I here adhered them together to make it thicker. So you could do something like that. That would be really cute. Of course, I already put the It doesn't matter. It would still work. You could cut you could just glue that on like that. And of course, you'd put a photo over here so it would kind of cover that edge. So yeah, then you would just need to decide whether or not you want to uh, mat the front of each of these. But other than that, there we go. Another layout is done and we will move on to the next one. <laughs> 